good morning. Now when we have our coffee, it is good morning. So um, it's time that we start printing and I'm gonna show you guys on the screen here a file I've been preparing. It's the uh, two color heartless dragon. Uh, no, it's the two color heart dragon. So I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna do some slicing and I'm just gonna start off the print and see how the purging is working if everything is set up right now. Remembering yesterday's vlog, I did uh, adjust that a little bit. So I just want to check that out before we leave it for any bigger print. So it's it, just one more PLA print and then we'll, we'll start mixing some uh, Colorfab XT, some PVA and stuff like that. So um, into the computer. Okay, so we just downloaded this dragon here. It's this model here by uh, TBuser. I think that looks really cool. I'm gonna use that, you can see the heart there, and we're gonna print it. So I'm gonna show you my settings. First of all, we have two STL files. I started with the right file, and then the left one, and I assigned them to different models. So you can see when I click here, it actually highlights also the model that is selected to it, which is pretty neat. So let's just start off editing the, um, the right one here. So we have, um, I put here into here right next to the high um, and I just lower the infill. I want to have some good resolution just to, to start pushing the machine a little bit. I did however change the speed here. Um, so I wanted to have a, a little bit slower. This was around 200 in stock. And I think this here are some good settings as well. And it's kind of fun to look through the settings here from the BC and Sigma profiles. So uh, right now I'm looking at the right extruder. So we see all the settings like retraction speeds, distance, and uh, yeah, just extrusion width and so on. So everything here seems to be good. If you look at layers, it's point 0.1. These ones, I think were set to eight from the beginning, which uh, for me is quite high, but I understand that when you want to do a, right, um, a really high resolution model, that's good. But I'm gonna lower it down to five, just because that's what I do. <laughs> um, everything else looks good. Uh, right extruder, we're going to use a skirt, bream, no rafts, no prime pillars, nothing like that. Uh, I did change here as well to fast honeycomb instead of the grid. It's just, I really like that tradition to have a honeycomb inside. We have concentric here as well, it's pre, uh, preset, so concentric means that the lines will, yeah, I'll, I'll show you, they will move in more or less. 10% I think is good, it's not going to be a strong model, all the temperatures look cool. Uh, what's really funny is that you can check out the scripts here uh, in Simplify, so you can see what cool commands. Uh, whoa, that's that's. I didn't mean to change the screen for you. Uh, so you can see here on starting scripts, it does a few extra things. We have a layer change. Well, it doesn't do much there. Uh, we have a tool change scripts, which is a little bit cool. So you have the smart purge functions. So it is if there is a new tool, it moves to a position, I suppose. Uh, I can't read all of this code here. This should be a speed right. Yeah, it moves over there. Um, extrudes 1.5 millimeter perch. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, so all of this is here. We have the ending strip and stuff like that, so that's cool. But again, yeah, other rows changing the speeds. Um, these are all presets, horizontal size compensation, which is cool. It says 2.85, which I have. Uh, the price and everything is set. And I think that's all. Um, all really that we uh, want to see. So I assign this here, you can click uh, select model and it will assign, you can assign that then to a model, which is what I've done, assign it to the difference here. So if we now slice this here, prepare for the slice, we need to select both uh, profiles because we're gonna use both of these processes down here. So let's just try that out, see what happens. I now have a, uh, that it's visualizing the uh, the tool head here, it's not visualizing the speeds or feature types that you can do as well, but the tool heads. So I'm going to see how it, how it behaves more or less. As you can see here, we're starting to move down, different nozzles are doing different things. And uh, yeah, it looks good. This section here could be a little bit tricky. But I think it's going to work, don't you think? I think that's going to be okay. Yeah. Let's go with it. What we do want to see is like the first layers and, and that the purging is working okay now when I adjusted it. So you can see this here is the concentric uh, pattern. It looks really good. Uh, I like it a lot. And I think it starts from the outside. Yeah, so it does um, the outline, the brim, then it starts moving in, uh, creating this model and then filling out the gaps. And it does that for a few layers. 
then it starts with the edges and stuff. Interesting. So um, with that said, I think it's time that we just click print and uh, get this baby running. All right, just a small update here. The print is looking mighty fine. Uh, it's really, really sharp. The colors are excellent. So I think my adjustment here of the purge container was uh, the cause of that error. So I'm gonna leave this print uh, running because I think it's gonna be super nice, super nice quality. And as you can see, I'm doing the time lapse as usual, just making sure we get some footage here for you. So I'll, I'll show you that footage in a second. I did just run out of the battery on the camera here, so I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro so you can continue seeing this time lapse. It's gone 25% and it's lunchtime. So it's gonna run a few hours more. So I'm not sure how many more prints I will do today, but hopefully one more, maybe even two more. So uh, let's just switch over to the GoPro. Oh, by the way, I just wanna show you as well how freaking awesome this looks. I mean, check out this here. That is a pretty smooth edge there. It's looking awesome. The 0.1 millimeter here is making superb results. So uh, off to the GoPro. Okay, so I've just been uh, working out a little bit. A few hours has gone by. It's already getting to a Saturday evening or early evening. So uh, let's have a look at the print. It looks awesome, actually. So uh, let's check it out. I mean, just look at that. It's so, it's super beautiful. There's no color contamination. The, f the model is super crisp. And uh, the buckets here, yeah, sure, they're filling up, but it's uh, much more controllable. So. Everything is good and up and running and the profiles are working well uh, as well, so that's pretty awesome. So as soon as this is done, which has, I think it's 54 minutes left, so 81% here. As soon as that is done, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll push some other filament. Well, maybe we'll try some PVA. Well, uh, you, you just have to wait a few more seconds. Right, so it's finished. You gotta look at this. Let me just show you. Super nice. Check that out. It's almost difficult to get some some sharpness in this with this lens, but yeah, just check that out. It's super nice. Color, there's no like color contamination. Let me just turn off the machine so we don't get the purple purple lights. Add 0.1 millimeter. Let me take some uh, some some uh, close-up shots and show you. It's loose. Awesome. I actually want to try out a uh, a model here where I will use some Colorfab XT material and basically just uh, here to see some Colorfab XT. I want to have this transparent and I think I want to have gray material inside or maybe white. Let's go with gray. So I'm gonna unload the white one and load up some XT. Okay, so we're now in here. Um, it's time to, to just fix the new print. So uh, I calibrated here again on the French site. So 0.4 nozzles, color fab. Uh, I'm gonna go with XT and color fila PLA on the left one. And we got the simplify. I've just imported it here, import profile, this one here. And I actually have it loaded. So let's see here, Sigma left, color right, color fab XT. 
No, I don't want to change those. So let me just check here. I do want to. Um, here you can see the settings. Sorry about that. So if you want to change one of these ones here, um, I'm actually. I can use these settings here, but I can't use left extruder as infill. So I'm just going to go ahead with the draft here. And I'm going to change a few things. Um, so layer should be primary extruder is, is left. But that's not right. Primary extruder is right since we want to have the color fib on the uh, uh, out, outside. Let's see. Additionals. Brim can be right as well to make sure that that sticks. Infill should be left and I'm going to do a fast honeycomb. And um, yeah, we're going to have, yeah, let's go with that. Infill 5%. I want to have the, let's try to see as much as possible. So left extruder. Yeah, right the shooter is the uh, XT, so that one should be really hot. And I think that's all. Wow, that's a quick print speed. Let's just go down to something like 50. Um, and travel around 150. I think that should be good. Um, okay, let's, let's get in my model. This is the model I'm planning to print. It's me! Mm, okay. Okay, I think this is what we want to achieve. So we want to have a transparent outside, but a, uh, a infill with color. So with a little bit of luck, this is a file we could run. So let's let's just try that. Alright, so the print is done here. Uh, it's not really what I was looking for. Let me just uh, show you here. <laughs> it is kind of shiny, but the grey material inside really doesn't shine through at all. I mean, you can get a little bit of a hint of it from the side. And it's the thing is that it's not that transparent as normal uh, material is. So if we check out the, the downside here, you can see that it's a little bit wider than this is. It's, it's more silver colored. I think it's pretty cool, but it's not, not even close to what I was uh, expecting. But I think it's um, <laughs> still a fun print to do. Especially if I slice this open, I will see a gray, gray infill inside. So um, yeah, well, okay, with that said, I think it's actually time to end today's vlog. So today is Saturday. I'm gonna release this tomorrow. So it will be Sunday when you're looking at this, but um, it wasn't great printing today. It was really fun. The result was super nice. The quality is, is spot on, so it's uh, it's really interesting. I will try out maybe some PVA today during Sunday, and you'll see that on Monday. And uh, yeah, PVA is probably what I want to try. Maybe, I don't know if I have any flexible filament. I'll, I'll see if I can find it. So um, thanks for watching today. I'll see you guys in a vlog a day from now. So uh, enjoy it, have a good day, bye.